Governor Yahya Bello of Kogi State has been encouraged to drop his alleged presidential ambition and instead take moves or make moves for the party's chairmanship to be given to the North Central geopolitical zone. This was said by the leader of the All Progressives Congress Council in the North Central, Kasim Mohammed. He appealed to the President, Mohammed Buhari, and the ABC governors, as well as key stakeholders of the party across the country, to consider the North Central for the position of the national chairman of the party. Well, joining us to have this conversation is Mr. Jacob A.D. He is a former chairman of the NUJ FCT chapter. Thank you very much, Mr. A.D., for joining us. Yeah, thank you. Good evening. I think the first question on everybody's mind when the name um, Governor Yahya Bello comes up is, is Governor Yahya Bello running for the presidency ticket? Has he declared his intentions? Well, quickly, Governor, His Excellency Governor Yahya Bello has not declared to vie for the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But... A whole lot of people, youths, women, many segments of the Nigerian society have been calling on him. They have been begging him to come and save this country, to come and salvage this country. So it is not Governor Yaya Bello who wants to run for presidency, but the people are asking him to come and vie for presidency. The question is, does he have the capacity? Yes. Of course, he's not the only Nigerian. He's not, all, he's not also the only sitting governor at the moment. But they must have seen quality. They must have seen value in him. And Nigerians from all walks of life are calling on Governor Yaya Bello to come and save this country. I'm really, I'm really curious. I'm sorry, I'm sorry to talk over you, Mr. AD. I'm sorry to talk over you, but I'm really curious because you're saying Nigerians from all works of life. I haven't seen those Nigerians. I don't know who they are, but in, if this is what you claim, what characteristics does this governor possess that makes him so credible that people are asking him? I mean, I know that every politician always says, that my people want me to run. We don't know who these people are, but in the case of Governor Yahya Bello, he is still a sitting governor. What are they seeing that make them feel that it's a justification for him to be the next governor or the next president, I beg your pardon, of this country? Well, the issue is this. Maybe you should have asked me if I am part of the people that want the Yahya Bello to vie for presidency. Then I will give you my personal opinion. But from what I have read in the papers, I've seen different youth groups calling for Yaya Bello to vie for the presidency of Nigeria. One, the Nigerian youths are tired, they are frustrated about the cluelessness of the situation we have at hand. They are tired of insecurity. They are tired of going to their campuses and then some madmen wake up with guns and come and kidnap them. They want a governor or a person or a Nigerian with the capacity, with the capacity, mark my word, mm. to be able to, to be able to nip in the board the security situation we have in this country right now. Let us assume without conceding that the only reason why they want Yaya Bello to run for the presidency of this country is the issue of insecurity I think it is enough reason for Nigerians, because look, for God's sake, what can you do where there is insecurity? As you are, you are there now in the studio, you never can tell. Some gunmen can just be waiting for you outside the studio and they pump bullets into you, or you are being kidnapped. So you cannot achieve anything in point of fact without having a, a, a stable security. Mm. And this is what the Ayabelo stands for. You seem to sound like you are somewhat campaigning for him to be president. You just said that. But let me take you up on something. You keep talking about the fact that he's supposed, supposedly going to salvage us from this situation of insecurity. But Yahya Bello seems to belong to the same party that is in power. So you're saying to me, um, indirectly, that the, the APC-led uh, presidency is unable incapacitated or incapable of dealing with the security situation and they need a savior called Yahya Bello to do so. 
look, this is this is a, a very wicked insinuation that you are making. But let me put let me put it this way for you. Let me put it this way for you. Even if you make the current vice president to be the president of this country, his policy cannot be the same as the sitting president. Yaya Bello is not sitting in the saddle right now. So you cannot begin to but draw a, a parallel the APC, between isn't him he? and the sitting president. But what I want to tell you is that Yaya Bello has shown capacity in his own state to handle this issue of insecurity. And that is a major problem for us today in this country. Every day that I wake up, when I check the, 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 the news, what I'm hoping to see, oh, who have they kidnapped today? Which school have they gone to kidnap students today? We can't live like that. We can't be happy. You cannot just put your child in the vehicle, oh, go to Zamfara or go to Enugu or go to any part of Nigeria and then you go back and sleep. Anything can happen. Hmm. Interesting. I'd like to push you a bit further on this particular issue of Governor Yahya Bello. You said that um, he has been able to deal with the issue of insecurity in his state. Um, a state is just a, a tiny part of Nigeria. Now, there have been reports of unpaid salaries. There have been complaints as to his governance in the, in, in the state. There have been so many people who have been aggrieved um, as to how the governor has led his state. Now you're telling me let that. Me tell you hold something. on, just hold on. I'm, go, I'm, I'm going something. somewhere. Just hold on, Mr. Adi. Just let me land. Is Nigeria's only problem right now insecurity? Are we going to treat the cancer or are we just going to put a plaster over it? What is the reason why we have insecurity in Nigeria if your president or your governor? It, the governor, um, Yahya Bello's only mandate is to come and deal with insecurity in Nigeria. How does that solve our problem? That is not our only problem. Have you landed? Well, I have. Okay. Um, I won't give you a monosyllabic answer. But what I will tell you is explanatory. There is nothing you can achieve where there is insecurity. Let us start with foreign investors. They are not going to come to your country because they are not safe. Do you understand my point? You, you, can, you cannot reasonably do any business today in Nigeria because of the fear of insecurity. So it affects every other thing. Now, just yesterday or so, Yabelo inaugurated, I think, a 38-man 30, a committee on revamping the economy of Kogi State. Now, this is just Kogi State. Now, what, what, what do you call pedigree? Pedigree is that somebody has shown capacity to carry two cars. So you can now assume that this person can take six cars when given a bigger opportunity. This is what we are talking about. We are not looking at the issue of insecurity alone as, as if that is the only problem his Excellency Governor Bello is coming to solve. No, that is not it. But right now, there is no challenge that is greater than insecurity in this country. Even if you listen to the president, at any opportunity is hard to make a comment. He does not forget to talk about insecurity, the efforts that is being made, and what they are going to be doing to make sure that we are safe in this country. So if you think insecurity is not a big problem, that is quite unfortunate. Well, I did not, say I, I did not say it wasn't a I big problem. I can assure problem. you that. Hello? I didn't can say it was me? a big problem. I said, is insecurity the only problem that Nigeria has? Right now, it is the biggest problem. Not the only problem, but it is the biggest problem. And the interesting thing is that when the issue of insecurity is nipped in the board, many other things are going to follow. Okay. Let's talk about party politics now. The APC is obviously asking or giving a word of advice, as, as it looks, to Governor Yahya Bello saying, would rather that you do not run for presidency, would rather that you just shelf that ambition and try to see if you can, we can zone the chairmanship of the party to your zone. In fact, they're saying he would do better as a chairman of the party instead of running for presidency. Um, I'm sure that the party would know better for who they would rather give their ticket or the presidency flag to 
um, for 2023 elections. But then, of course, I might be wrong. Well, I do not speak for the APC, and I am not assuming that position. But what you also need to know, let us start from logic, law of first. Who is the first person that has shown interest in the presidency? But you see, in politics, this is what happens. It gets to a time when the stakeholders will sit down and begin to weigh all the, op uh, I mean, all the options. Now, if, if from the news report you read, some people want the North Central to take the chairmanship of the party, I want to also tell you today, there are some other people, very serious, very well-meaning Nigerians, that believe that the North Central should also produce the presidency of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And the reason is very simple. By my records, only the North Central has not had the president or vice president. Nobody from North Central has taken a shot at these two positions. There is no other part of this country. They have either had a shot at the presidency or the vice presidency, as the case may be. In fact, some regions have produced three presidents of, in this country. So why should North Central not agitate or aspire for, okay. for, for the highest position in the land? There is no reason. And okay. that, talking specifically about Kogi, Kogi is meaning Nigeria. So anybody who can lead Kogi State can lead Nigeria because there is no section of this country that you do not have a large representation of their people in Kogi State. And they are safe. They are sleeping with two eyes closed. Okay. So when the chips are down, when the chips are down, the North Central will prefer to have the presidency of this country to okay. having just a party chairman. Whether you All like right. it or not, the presidency is higher than the party chairman. All right. Well, uh, at least you did say that, you know, the North Central would like to have a shot at the presidency. So you're saying that maybe the governor will be having a shot. And of course, uh, we would, I would have loved to continue this conversation to ask if you think he does stand a chance against all of the others who might be vying for that position. But this is a conversation for another day. Thank you very much. Uh, Jacob A.D. is the former chapter chairman of the NUJ in Abuja. Great conversation. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for having me. All right. We'll take a short break now. And when we return, I will be giving you my take. Stay with us. Here's my take. Nigeria at some point had a mantra of good people, great nation. Indeed, it is the people that make the nation. With an emphasis on the word good, bad people cannot make a nation great. So we, the people of Nigeria, need to resolve to do good and just not say that we're good people, but we need to not just be a good people, but we need to be a better nation. But without making an effort to change things for the better, we must, I mean, have to stop bribery, the purposeful hardship that we bring on one another. We need to stop the hatred, the segregation, because we cannot progress if we continue to pitch ourselves against one another. I, I mean, we the people don't, if we don't close ranks and unite against the evil that some of our leaders are perpetrating, and if we're seen to be guilty of the same crimes that we accuse these supposed leaders of, what grounds do we really have to hold them to account? Now, like I always say, the journey to making Nigeria a great nation begins with you and me. Don't wait for the next person. Start. I am Mariana Cole, thanking you for watching.